Shelby with Farmhouse Living and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to undecorate for Christmas and I'm going to show you some of my tricks that I learned on how to organize your Christmas and store it away and then I'm going to head to mom's and we are going to show you some really fun winter decor ideas if you are needing some inspiration to transition into the next season. So first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to pull back all of the fresh greenery that we brought in from outside. That is the core that you would typically use in the winter, but it is shedding a lot because it is drying out. And so we are gonna bring some fresh greenery back in, but in a more practical, less over the top way. So take that down and then we're gonna move on to the tree and we'll talk about some storage ideas. So earlier this week when I was prepping to organize for Christmas, I watched a few YouTube videos and one hack that I really loved seeing was people using these plastic serving cups to store ornaments in their tub and then they would put cardboard sheets and do it again and it keeps them pretty safe if they're breakable but also organizes them by type i thought it was neat and it fits most standard size ornaments i have actually collected some pretty interesting sizes this year so for my living room tree unfortunately some of the ornaments are just going to need traditional wrap with newspaper paper towels things like that bubble wrap, things like that to keep these guys safe. This is actually a vintage ornament from Neiman Marcus in Germany that I thrifted recently and clearly the cup hack doesn't work. But in the playroom tree over there, all of the ornaments will fit in the cups. And I know it's a playroom tree, but all the ornaments are breakable. So it'll be nice to be able to use that hack on those ornaments and ornaments of that size but the strange ornaments that are oddly shaped are not going to work one thing i did do with storage in mind was i kept the ornament containers when i purchased them so it's not as pretty of a hack as clear cups in a clear bin that you could label really nicely with your cricket but it is very practical and they'll all stay together this is actually another set of vintage ornaments that I thrifted. And so, although the container is a little tattered, still super useful. So we've got options for our ornament storage today. A few moments later. So we did have an ornament casualty, but all is well, nothing is too precious in this house. It was only one. Another helpful tip that actually came from my mom is to layer your boxes appropriately. So. We have all these cushy, wonderful stockings, and we have ornaments that are somewhat breakable that we want to provide a little cushion for. So I'm gonna wrap them in paper, but I'm also going to make a little cushion with my stockings, and that will add another layer of protection while they are up until the 2022. So Christmas tree storage, we took it down and put it in the box that it originally came in. It's the easiest way to store. I also have a king of Christmas tree in the playroom and that came in a really amazing, like, I don't know, waterproof bag. I would love to buy another one for the living room tree just because that is a very convenient and I feel like it protects the tree a lot more. So two different storage options, either purchase a bag, buy a tree that comes with a bag, or use the box. One last tip before we go to mom's. I am not storing anything that I didn't pull out for this year. So as we moved or as I had new things, I would just not use older stuff. And I would rather either donate it, sell it, give it to a friend, then just keep it in my garage. So everything that is in the bins today, I have intent to use in the future. So now let's talk about winter decor. Let's go to Okay, so I have undecorated 
decorated my house, everything's stored up. Now we have undecorated at mom's house and everything is stored a little less organized than my methods. But she's been doing this for years and she's she's got it down. You open the door and you shove it all in. <laughs> we have to. If you are a Christmas organization person or just more organized when you store things away or you're like Michelle and you just shove it all in I would love to know in the comments below but people might be shocked to know that it does all fit in one box my Christmas all fits in one box outside of the garland the wreaths and the trees because which is most of the <laughs> all the tchotchkes and the ornaments fit in one, one box massive tub She's got an attic full of Christmas. Do not let her deceive you. <laughs> but we wanted, what we're talking about is not organization here. We are talking about how to take on winter. We don't love a lot of themey stuff in this right. season. It's kind of like a great time for us to mimic nature, pull completely back, just appreciate a little white space, a little breathing room. We just had a lot going on and we're just just as nature kind of clears its leaves and its color we're doing the same and then as the year progresses we add we layer back in right so let's start with the first kind of thing that you do which i would say is add more greenery so right just because that's really always our pro tip is yeah. And when you pair back and you have a lot of white space, greenery brings life. Yeah. It just brings life in. And so I did do that. However, I cheated a little bit because I wanted a fresh floral and it was eight o'clock at night. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I made myself a beautiful arrangement, which I don't think you can tell. I mixed in some fresh greenery and yeah. pine cones and voila. Yeah, so you can take in neutral florals, a little bit of evergreen, and then just, it makes a really wonderful, you also did that on your breakfast nook table. That is, yeah, just some real. Whether stuff. it's faux or real. Yeah. Your mantle, we cleared that massive garland, and yes. now I kind of am really loving it bare, because I love the stone, so a very popular questions that we get on Instagram is what is your fireplace what is it made of it's austin stone that she german schmeared not diy hired someone to german schmear with white sand and white, white mortar. mortar very important yeah white sand white mortar yes yeah and so it gives this european feel and so now now that all of that's pulled back we can appreciate the texture and the feel of that you're keeping the deer up for just for a little bit. Yeah, so deer is definitely winter. Uh, yeah. I mean, I feel like it's really fun, but she will be eventually putting a mirror back mm -hmm. whenever you get tired of Mr. Deer. That's right. You also have some greenery up there, pine cones. You can't go wrong with pine cones. They go from fall all the way through to spring. Yep, so just yep. leave them out. Don't put them in your Christmas tubs. They're here to stay. One thing I love about Christmas is that you'll bring in things that you typically wouldn't. You get creative, you get, or at least we do, and we see it online a lot, layering in things that you typically wouldn't. Mm -hmm. And so one thing that mom did is she replaced all of her accents over her TV with one massive dough bowl. That dough bowl normally lives in her dining room. Yeah, it just made a great place to, a backdrop for my no shoes. Yeah, so no she, shoes. there were yes. snowshoes there. And then now she was like, I don't want to bring it down and just put some greenery, some faux yeah. plants up there. It is a very simple look, but I love the one massive backdrop versus multiple. It might be too simple for me, so that probably won't stay. But it's, like you said, it's creating some new, fresh, feel and we're going to leave it there for you know just yeah. a bit okay so your breakfast nook we did a new quote on your letter board the letter board is not moving into 2022 we're going to put art there but our we actually had a good year we're not like no it was just, it's just a little funny yeah we like funny yeah. we like funny and yeah. so anyways we put a funny quote there just to get a little chuckle 
and we plan on putting some art. Art is a really good, like if you have, you want a more wintry feel, you can replace it. You can replace art. And so that is our plan. I've actually rounded up some of our favorite art and that is in a like to know it post. If you would like to shop that, the link is in the comments. Yeah. So kitchen, again, just moved some of the old greenery and brought in some fresh and hung a basket on the wall. So in the dining room, we had talked about taking down Christmas, but you know, extending winter and the flock tree in there just feels all about winter. So we yeah. left that up as well as our flocked greenery. But we, again, we made it super simple. So we'll wait until spring, we'll take that down and then we'll just look for something really fun and refreshing to do. The Christmas room, we also undecorated the tree, left it up because we called it the Christmas room and now it must have an evergreen, right? Yeah, I and hope it stays. We I, may leave it. I don't it. feel like you're gonna leave it. I may leave it. I but might. let me see, I have guests this weekend. Let me see what they say. If they just like feel so cozy. <laughs> okay, well, I hope they don't watch this video because I don't want to set them up. But yes, that I love the idea of we painted that room Bear Pine Mountain. It just feels like Christmas. I wanted to be committed to Christmas. The ornaments did come down. Yeah. And I don't, I honestly, I don't think she's going to leave it. She's just not. I might. I might shock you. Okay, we'll okay. see. We'll Vote see. or comment down below. If you think she should keep a Christmas tree in the Christmas room all year round, I would, I, I feel like this, let's turn it into a petition. Can we yeah. petition? <laughs> People do. We've talked about it. They have Christmas rooms yeah. all year long. And you should. Yeah. So, anyways, we're going to see how she proceeds. We don't get snow in Texas a lot. So typically mom and I have in the past jumped basically into spring. We're not doing this that this year because we're just going to just start layering and see how it goes and just explore creativity that way. We are going to get a cold front this weekend. Yes. Apparently. Yeah. And, we, and anything below 70, I build a fire. So she's about to start a fire. I'm, I'm fixing to do it. And so anyways, the, that's, that's how we're taking on winter, guys. <laughs> <laughs> So I would love to know how you take on this season of decor, how you're enjoying your home, how you're organizing your holiday, just the, all the stuff. Fancy so organizer, shove it in. Yeah. <laughs> just air conditioning when it's 80, fire. <laughs> fire the fire. <laughs> We all have different preferences, even when we are family. So I would love to know what you think down below. Close us out, Mom. All right. Like, subscribe, share this with your friends. We are coming into the new year. We have great expectation of all kinds of fun and good things coming. And so um, we just hope you have a great day. Yeah. Bye. Bye.